All right, Coach, so just uh, kind of just talk about the win a little bit. Uh, well, it's good to get a win. It's good to come out in the second half and play the way we did. We weren't, I didn't think we were very ready to play uh, to start the game, and that falls on me and our coaches. And I don't know, I talked to some of the players yesterday in a meeting, and uh, they were kind of, I don't know, they thought they were kind of overlooking uh, that opponent, which we're in no position to overlook anybody. I don't care who we're playing. We have to be prepared and go out and play every game until we you know, get ourselves established. And I thought they came out in the second half, challenged them to come out and be who they are supposed to be, and I thought we showed that both offensively and defensively. So. Um, you've been a second half team both games this year. That's been a, that's obviously a nice thing to have. Is that one of those things you think, hey, you know, we can even if we don't have such a great first half, we can play well in the second half. That's a good hallmark, I guess, yeah. to have this early in the season. Well, at least we're playing for one half. You know, <laughs> I mean, that's the big thing. And, I guess if it's the you want momentum, it being the second half, but we got to put a you know, we got to put a full game together. If, if we just play for a half this week, then you know it's going to be a long game for us. It doesn't matter what half we play. So uh, you know, we're looking to get strive to get that full game uh, together. But you know, I'll take 28 to 35 points in the second half any day. Talk about your special teams, coach. Uh, we had big returns from Tobias, but also some other plays as well. They really kept us, they kept us in the game, to be honest. Uh, Kickoff return after their first score, uh, I thought was going to spark us and wake us up a little bit. You know, defensively we still made mental mistakes and they got down the field to, to get some things done. And then we had the big punt return coming back. I, I, let's go back to Tobias's kickoff return. We had two blocks, two double teams on that that really set the tone for uh, that return. And I think the the punt return Tobias had was, you know. He caught the ball in, in a precarious position, and but he makes things happen. And, and he pulled around, and you know, if, if we get in front and we start blocking better, then we have a chance to to take that to the house as well. But I mean, I think Tobias did a heck of a job on that one. He did a lot of that, you know, on his own. And then when he broke outside, we were ready to roll. Uh, the punny game was a lot better. We we did execute a pooch punt finally and got it down to the ten yard line. We made a fair catch one. Uh, I thought he was going to drop. And we did make a mistake on the first one in our blocking and almost got it blocked, but you know, we'll get that fixed and get going. So uh, I thought overall our special teams was really good at throw the kickoff in. We're, uh, we're going up against a stiff wind and we got one on the ground and we're able to go and recover it. So I thought that phase of the game played extremely well the entire game and uh, we lapsed on offense and defense in the first half. What's halftime been like the last two weeks? Just the atmosphere during halftime. Uh, you know, nobody's ever. Well, I don't think we're in it. I mean, it's never been anything like we're out of it. Uh, we got to get our stuff together and get things rolling. If we look back and you hear the guys in the locker room talking about we're making mistakes. They're not beating us. We're making mistakes. So we we feel like the going in. If we just clean up what we've done, that we should be able to come out and do some things. Um, what were the biggest areas you thought from your first game of the season that you may have improved on from Azusa to last week against William Jewel? Uh, again, in our special teams, I think our, our punt team especially showed great improvement. Uh, just in the block, not only the kicker getting it off and kicking well, he kicked a lot better than what we're used to uh, in this game. But uh, the speed of our special teams getting down and making things happen. So uh, Defensively, we didn't tackle very well this week. And, well, that's a big challenge for us coming up to tackle these uh, these guys from Tarleton. So, uh, but I think our special teams is the biggest thing. Talk about Tarleton a little bit. It's going to be a tough matchup. They're good. They're really good. I mean, I think they're better this year than they were last year. Uh, the quarterback Ben Holmes makes them go. I mean, he's an incredible player. Uh, when things break down, he makes things happen. He's got two guys on the outside that are uh, uh, Manning's an All-American. I think uh, Thomas is. Hopefully I got his name, 88 Thompson. Uh, he's a heck of a football player, too, and he's dominated. Uh, I think everybody's put a lot of double coverage on Manning, and uh, so it's opened it up for the other side, and, and he's made plays. Uh, running backs McCants, we all know about him and his speed. He's got a 99-yarder against Stephen F. Austin and had a 96-yarder against us last year or so uh, on the kickoff return. So they have a lot of weapons. They're very physical up front. They, they really – as much as they throw the ball and get in the air, they want to run the football and be physical, and they can do that. So, defensively, their front seven is uh, front four probably better 
was last year. Secondary all comes back, so they're solid in how they tackle and how they attack. And, uh, if there is a weak spot, it's because they lost the NFL linebacker. And I don't think the guy that has replaced him is quite an NFL linebacker yet, but uh, he certainly has the tools and the talent to, to get there. So we are uh, hands full this week. You know, we've got to come out. We've got to play extremely well. If we make mistakes like we did in the first half last week, it could be a horse race early and we're not going to be in it. So, With that being said about them, our, our guys are confident, they're focused, they want to go in there, they're excited about playing the top, now the ranked top four in the country. Uh, they know what they did last year. You know, they, they just want to play and I'm excited to see them go and play against a top-notch team. We'll see where we are after this week. Coach, last year, uh, red zone, we had some struggles, and this year, perfect 10 for 10, two games. What, what are some differences for, from this year? Why are, why are we scoring at a much higher rate, I mean, every time in the red zone so far? Well, I think there's confidence in our offense, and I think that we think that we have the belief now that we can score at any time. And, you know, I think that uh, the players are seeing that from the coaching staff, where we've gone for it a lot, for it down inside the red zone. And, pushed it to get inside the red zone. And I think we scored on a fourth and goal uh, Saturday as well. I think we did that on the, against the Zoos. I think we did it twice against the Zoos. So, you know what, we want touchdowns. And you know, they have confidence in what they can do and the guys that are running the ball. And we put Max in there and Jordan in there. and We don't skip a beat. So I think that's a tribute to uh, our players and our offensive coaching staff and how they've handled it. Can we talk about Jordan Johnson for a minute? The dude's like tackling a brakes truck. You know, he is a, Jordan is is a special player, and uh, he has a will and desire to score every time he gets the ball. He doesn't want to be tackled. It's almost like he's embarrassed when one guy can tackle him. Uh, but he has a nose for the end zone. And you talk about a great athlete. He can catch the ball in the backfield. Uh, he could line up his Wildcat quarterback if he needed him to. Play still back. He lines up down as a tight end. But overall, what a great person he is. He's always got a smile on his face. He's always happy. Uh, he loves to practice. He loves to play the game. He just is a, is a special type of not only person or player, but a person as well. Um, without giving too much away, he could line up Wildcat. I think that might be something that Tarleton might see this weekend from him. Or is that Tarleton's going to see everything. <laughs> Tarleton's going to see us. We're going to get off the bus with the kitchen sink. You know, we're going to let them know that we're going to do whatever we can to, to go in there and win this game. Um, last year, I remember I remember the Monday after last year's game was probably the worst press conference to be a part of. It was not the best atmosphere in there. Um, you should have been there Saturday at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> but um, just you, you talked about effort last year against Tarleton. Um, what is it? Do you think there's extra motivation knowing just how you guys played in last year's game coming into this year? I don't, I don't know if we look at that for motivation. I think we look at where we are now and how this team has matured and grown since that day. Uh, I, you know, we made mistakes Saturday, but effort was there. We still had, even though we missed a couple of times, we still had six, seven, eight guys going to the football in the first half. We were still seeing us trying to push for that little bit more on the offensive side of the ball, even though we weren't clicking on all cylinders. So, uh, again, we can control what we can control, and our attitude and effort are the two things that we can control more than anything. So, if we can keep that in check, uh, I mean, I know this is going to be a it's going to be a dogfight, and Tarleton comes after you. And, uh, they let you know it, uh, and they, there's going to be some words going across from each team. And, Hopefully we can keep our composure and uh, get things done.